Life for man is an endless pursuit of meaning. Meaning that represents his thirst for knowledge. Is our universe coming into existence or has it already been created? How did human beings come into being? What is the meaning of our transient existence? These and a million other queries have continuously plagued humans over the course of time. Many different religions then arrive one after another, bringing with them a plethora of expositions to justify human curiosity. In this context, Islam respects all other religions, thus emerging as an advocate of universalism, harmony, and peace in the world. Many researches have been conducted comprising of various religions, and it has been acknowledged that prophets have been sent to different nations throughout the course of history so that they can spread the message of truth and the holy word of God among the masses. All the holy books that were revealed to prophets, such as the Torah given to Moses, the Bible given to Jesus Christ, and the last book, Quran, blessed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, can then be considered an unbreakable sequence of the same doctrine. On the basis of historical evidence, Quran has been stated as the only book that offers a complete instruction manual for life. And the Prophet Muhammad has been declared as a perfect model exemplifying empathy, kindness and compassion for the entire human populace without any kind of discrimination. The French scholar Ernest Reno illuminated the true essence of Islam when he said, Islam was born not amidst the mystery which cradles the origins of other religions, but rather in the full light of history. Over the past 14 centuries, historians and intellectuals all over the globe have declared the birth of the Prophet to be a monumental occasion for mankind. The American philosopher Michael H. Hart claims that it is this unparalleled combination of secular and religious influence, which I feel entitles Muhammad to be considered the most influential single figure in human history. The advent of the Prophet completely altered the religious and political scenario of the world. Under the holy decree of the Prophet Muhammad, the immigration of Muslims to the city of Medina, known as Hijrat Medina, marks the most extraordinary chapter in the noted history 
of humankind till date. A greater instance of philanthropy and cordial conduct cannot be found. The message of fraternity and equality founded upon this illustrious event became a milestone of peace, justice, love and brotherhood for the whole wide world. The life of the Prophet defines a heritage of supreme humanitarian tradition that transcends beyond the boundaries of religion, creed, race and all other man-made differences. He was the first person who raised his voice for the propagation and protection of human rights. The Prophet blessed not only orphans, widowers, labourers, but animals and birds as well with his benevolent presence. Human rights, freedom of expression and speech, the empowerment of women and the promotion of their fundamental rights the necessity and sanctity of education and the arrangement of social security on the government level for the individuals of any society. These are those few attributes that can be claimed today by the contemporary world. An impartial study of history would reveal to us that although a lot of people played their part in bringing mankind to this point, however, the role played by the Prophet, peace be upon him, 1400 years ago, in accomplishing this act of welfare is greater than anyone else and is also quite exemplary. One brilliant example of the Prophet Muhammad's love for mankind includes his merciful conduct during the critical conditions of war where the Muslims were ordered by him to respect the holy places at all costs, not to cut any of the trees or destroy any crops. He also instructed them not to physically abuse women and commit violence against children. In a society where bloodshed was common and discrimination was a pastime, the propagation of kindness was a marvelous aspect of the Prophet's character. When anyone treated him with hatred and animosity, he changed that person into a loving one with his affectionate demeanor. When faced with persecution, he chose to suffer rather than retaliate. His ultimate victory came through peace, not conflict. But today, Prophet Muhammad's message seems under threats like never before. Many in the West see Islam as the religion of some of the most unstable states on earth, of violence and intolerance. And that has helped the Western critics to circulate misleading facts about the personality and the message of the Prophet. But the question is, how much of this can be blamed on the Prophet himself? An English philosopher named Thomas Carlyle rightfully criticized the depravity of this situation, claiming that the lies which well-meaning zeal has heaped around this man 
are disgraceful to ourselves only. It is basic human nature to hold things and people sacred to them in the highest esteem. It becomes exceedingly agonizing for people if their cherished ideals are persecuted in the name of freedom of speech, making it worse than ever when such defamation is executed through elaborate planning to create propaganda. Lord Jesus Christ prayed for those who deviated from the right path as he appealed to the Almighty. O oh God, forgive them, for they know not. Islam has neither ever caused affliction to the disciples of other religions and beliefs, nor has it ever had similar expectations from others. For the Muslim community, the holy figure of the Prophet Muhammad is more beloved and sacramental than even their own parents and children. He was a larger-than-life person whose memory deserves nothing less than to be celebrated as the mightiest of heroes who loved, protected and guided mankind. As human beings, it is the least that we could do for the man whose name is recited day and night by two billion Muslims from every corner of the world. I'm <laughs> 